Okay, so today I was actually intending to do a video, uh, a speed drawing of Bruno Mars, but all I can say is that that didn't go to plan. So instead, since I have all the uh, the tripod and the camera set up, I thought I'd uh, treat my subscribers by um, doing a video about fur. Uh, and I've been getting a lot of requests for fur today, so I'm going to be showing you this drawing that I've started and how, how I've started to do the fur and how I'm going to be uh, making it look more realistic. So I've done another video on fur before but this one is going to be more related to animal fur and it's just going to be generally better because the last video I don't feel was wonderful. <laughs> it was about uh, a year ago when I did that video and I think I've progressed a lot since then. Okay so this is my cat <laughs> and as you can see in the picture, let me zoom out you can see in the picture, it's not quite the same yet. No, the clear points are around here. Okay, you can see that they're not quite anatomi anatomically correct, but the anatomy is not what I'm going to be working on today. Okay, so just let me zoom in. Sorry about that, zoomed very slow. Okay, so hopefully you can see a little bit of the detail there. Something to notice for cats is that around the nose, um, you can see the, the fur is very light. It's, um, you can't notice it as such as individual lines. At the moment you can, if we go any even further, you can see that I've drawn each line separately but it's it's very smooth the textures not as uh bumpy i suppose you could say uh, whereas up here on the forehead you know the the hairs really do stand up and you can see a difference in the levels um and this is the difficult part really this you could without any practice start to do this just by doing line after line after line after line whereas for this one even though it follows the same principle, it's just a lot harder to do, I find. So, so what I've been doing, using mechanical pencils as always, these are the best because the point always stays very sharp and you want every hair to be uh, made from a, a sharp pencil. So mechanical pencils, these are the best. And you're just flicking upwards as you can see here now what I would advise is always do your fur upwards because it's to do with the biomechanics of the hand bring it down you can actually get not quite the, um, the line that you desired if you're bringing the pencil line down whereas going upwards it's generally always going to be what you want it to be you can practice that yourself and, and see if it, if it works but that's generally what I've found and what science really agrees with so take that advice um, and just you need to be start just doing the lines like this and you can you can see by going upwards what you notice is the bottom of the hair which is where you have pressed the pencil down first which is slightly larger actually looks like the root of the, the hair follicle. So that seems to work really nicely. Another thing to notice might be to start quite high and then move lower because you want the hairs lower um, to appear in front of, of you. Sorry, in front of the hairs behind. <laughs> so these will appear above these hairs above it. So you're just filling in the gaps really, uh, using this technique um, and eventually you should start to see what looks like hair and then once you've began doing this uh, and you've covered a large area, let's say this area, uh, you can start building in the darker tones. Darker tones you could just go over the same line heavier or a few more times or just around the area 
when you go around the area it, it will make it appear darker like this one. Try to avoid doing zigzag lines like this. You want this to be all flicks. Okay. Alright, firstly I should apologise because um, I can't zoom in any further without it uh, defocusing. So, uh, I'm just going to stay here. This should be enough detail for you to be able to see what I'm doing. Now, I'm going to be doing the lower part of the ear. Uh, it's quite simple. Like I said, you're moving the pen upwards. You can re restroke the same line, uh, the same hair follicle, uh, more than once as long as it clearly is the same line. You know, if you start doing sketches like this and it you seem it seems like there's uh, loads of lines next to each other it's not really going to look, look like hair uh, it's going to look it's hard, hard really to explain what it will look like but basically what I'm trying to say is that it won't look as realistic as what you want to achieve so keep the lines nice and distant Now these lines are quite awkward because they are coming in, moving to the right, and then moving upwards. But it's no problem, I don't think. Okay, so once you've started doing a fair few lines like this one, you move a bit, oops, sorry. Um, you can move on to your darker pencil, which I was using before, and colour the base. Because you'll find that the base is generally darker. And in this picture, there is actually a lot of black hair underneath this, so this will continue into the black part of the hair. Now, to make these hairs stand uh, apparent, you can actually sketch some sort of darkness behind it. need to ensure enough gap is left between the hairs though. don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but uh, hopefully you can get the gist of what I'm trying to achieve. Alright, and this is obviously just going to be uh, carrying on all the way down here. If you start to make uh, a mistake with hair, or if you've, you've done a dark area, you can uh, use the putty rubber, which I've talked about many times, um, and you can just wipe away. You don't even need to use much pressure, providing you haven't pressed down hard with the pencil. And it should be lifting off, as I think you can see here. Just make sure there's a fine point and you're not lifting off the whole thing. Once, you, uh, once you've done a lot of hair in one area and you think it starts to get a lot darker, this is a great technique to, uh, to highlight some of the hairs, make it look uh, more realistic, more depth, and just generally making the, the piece look more how it should do in the picture, which is the goal of realism. Alright, so there's quite a few tips there. Uh, try and give some of them a go, and hopefully that was helpful.